To make this meteorite feel more realistic, let's adjust the lights. First, let's turn both of them off, just so we're starting with nothing. And then let's turn on the ambient light again and see what this gets us. So if we turn it to the max, it's very brown because the color of the material is very brown. And with an ambient light, sometimes it's nice to simulate like a sky environment. So let's pick the sky color, turn it to full brightness, and maybe push the saturation a little bit up. Now let's turn on the direction light and see what we can do. Right now the directional light is pretty slanted, so let's turn it so it's upright. We can change the rotation in the X to negative 90. So it's pointing straight down. And because this is going to simulate sunlight, at least in this scene, let's change it to a more warm color. And we'll turn this intensity up as well. So now this is a little bit more integrated into the scene. We have more of a sunlight coming in directly from the top. And then we have some blue color kind of coming in from all sides to fill in the gaps. Because without the ambient light, it's a way too dark on the bottom. Now what we can do to make this even more realistic is duplicate this directional light. And instead of having it point straight down, we'll have it point it straight up. And this bottom color will be the color of the grass, very green. And obviously this looks way too intense. So let's turn it down so there's just a teeny bit. So it kind of feels like that, that sunlight is bouncing off the grass and hitting a little bit of that bottom edge. Maybe that green is a little too strong. Let's just go to about 10%. One thing to note about the lights is that they are computationally heavy to compute as we go down this list. So ambient lights are quite simple to compute because they affect everything the same, but point light and spotlights are a lot more computationally intensive because they have a lot more parameters and they don't affect everything in the same way. So the computer has to work a little bit harder. So when you're working, try to use these top lights more often and only these bottom ones when you absolutely have to. And I believe the max lights you can have is four plus one ambient light. 